Welcome to this Functional Skills Maths Level 2 training video. This video contains information and guidance on Criterion 24. Estimate the mean of a grouped frequency distribution from discrete data. First, we're going to recap what is meant by discrete data and how to calculate the mean before moving on to interpreting group frequency tables. Finally, we will apply our knowledge to estimate the mean of grouped frequency tables. At level 2, and by the end of this session, you should be able to recognize what is meant by discrete data, calculate the mean, interpret grouped frequency tables, and estimate the mean of grouped frequency tables. Discrete data is information that has distinct, separate values. These values are typically whole numbers and are often counted in individual units. In other words, discrete data is countable and there are no intermediate values. Let's look at these examples of discrete data. The number of students in a class. You can count the exact number of students, and you can't have a fraction of a student. Rolling a die. When rolling a six-sided die, the outcome is always a discrete number. One, two, three, four, five or six. The number of emails received in a day. This is discrete since you can count the exact number, and you can't receive a fraction of an email. Let's move on to calculating the mean. The mean is a type of average. An average is a number that gives an overview of collected data. In other words, an average summarizes the data collected. To work out the mean of collected data, we must follow these two steps. Step 1. Add up all the numbers in the dataset. Step 2. Divide the total by how many numbers there are. When finding the mean, it is important to remember to add up the values carefully, as there can sometimes be quite a few numbers to keep track of. Let's take a look at the example here. Beth rolls a die. Here are her results. We can see that Beth has rolled a 6, a 4, a 2, a 1, another 4 and another 6. Let's follow the steps to calculate the mean outcome of Beth's die rolls. Step 1. Add up all the numbers in the dataset. We must add up 6, 4, 2, 1, 4 and 6. This totals 23. Let's move on to step 2. Divide the total by how many numbers there are. To complete this step, we need to count how many times Beth rolled her die. Beth rolled her die 6 times. We need to calculate 23 divided by 6 to find the mean. 23 divided by 6 is 3.83. Therefore, the mean is 3.83. Now it's your turn. The table below shows the times individuals took to run 100 meters. What is the mean time taken? Pause the video, then press play when you're ready to continue. Let's take a look. The first step when calculating the mean is to add up all the numbers in the data set. Find the total of 20.4, 27.2, 24.5, 22.3, and 23.6. The total is 118. Now move on to the second step, which is to divide the total by the amount of numbers we added. In this case, we added 5 numbers, so we need to calculate 118 divided by 5. This equals 23.6. Therefore, the mean time taken to run 100 meters is 23.6 seconds. Grouped frequency is a method of organizing and presenting data. It groups values into intervals or ranges. These groups or classes do not overlap. For example, in this grouped frequency table, the data is grouped into intervals depending on height. The frequency represents how many individuals are within that height range. Looking at the table, we can see that 4 people have a height between 60 and 65 inches, 12 people are between 65 and 70 inches, and 8 people are between 70 and 75 inches. Before calculating the mean of a grouped frequency, we need to calculate the midpoint or mid-range for each group. The midpoint is the middle point. This is the number halfway between the values. For example, in the group 60 to 65 inches, 
the midpoint is 62.5. To calculate the midpoint, add together the lower limit, or lower value, and upper limit, or upper value. Then, divide the answer by 2. For example, to calculate the midpoint of the group 60 to 65, we must first add the lower and upper limits. The lower limit is 60, and the upper limit is 65. This totals 125. Now, we must divide 125 by 2. This gives us a midpoint of 62.5. Can you calculate the midpoint for the following groups? 65 to 70, and 70 to 75. Pause the video, then press play when you're ready to continue. To calculate the midpoint of the group 65 to 70, we first need to add the lower and upper limits. 65 plus 70 equals 135. Then, we need to divide the total, 135, by 2. 135 divided by 2 is 67.5. Therefore, the midpoint of the group 65 to 70 is 67.5. To calculate the midpoint of the group 70 to 75, we first need to add the lower and upper limits. 70 plus 75 equals 145. Then, we need to divide the total, 145, by 2. 145 divided by 2 is 72.5. Therefore, the midpoint of the group 70 to 75 is 72.5. Once you have identified the midpoint of each group, you can calculate the mean. This is done in three steps. Step 1. Work out the frequency multiplied by the midpoint. This is calculated by multiplying the frequency and midpoint of a group. For example, the frequency multiplied by the midpoint of the 60 to 65 group is calculated by multiplying 4 and 62.5. This gives us an answer of 250. Pause the video and work out the frequency multiplied by the midpoint for the other two groups, then press play when you're ready to continue. Let's take a look. The frequency multiplied by the midpoint of the 65 to 70 group is calculated by multiplying 12 and 67.5. This gives us an answer of 810. The frequency multiplied by the midpoint of the 70 to 75 group is calculated by multiplying 8 and 72.5. This gives us an answer of 580. We also need to calculate the total frequency multiplied by the midpoint. To do this, simply add up the answers in the frequency multiplied by the midpoint column. Pause the video while you do this, then press play to continue. The total frequency multiplied by the midpoint is calculated by adding 250, 810, and 580. This gives us a total of 1,640. Step 2. We need to work out the total frequency. This is calculated by adding up the values in the frequency column, which gives us a total of 24. Finally, step 3. Work out the mean. We must divide the frequency multiplied by the midpoint by the number of values, or frequency. 1640 divided by 24. This gives us a mean of 68.33. Here is an example exam question. Use your knowledge from this session to calculate the mean of grouped frequency. You want to find out the mean number of guests attending your events throughout the past year. Estimate the mean number of guests. Round your answer to the nearest whole number. This question is worth 6 marks. Therefore, we can assume there will be 6 steps in the calculation. Pause the video while you answer the question, then press play when you're ready to check your answer. Let's check your answer. One mark is available for calculating the midpoint or mid-range for each group. 
Remember these are calculated by adding the lower and upper limits together before dividing by 2. One mark is available for calculating the frequency multiplied by the midpoint of each group. This is worked out by multiplying the frequency and midpoint. One mark is available for calculating the total frequency multiplied by the midpoint. To find the total frequency multiplied by the midpoint, simply add up the values in the frequency multiplied by the midpoint column. This gives a total of 27,650. One mark is available for calculating the total frequency. This is worked out by adding 62, 45, 29, 7, and 18. This gives us an answer of 161. One mark is available for correctly calculating the mean. To work this out, divide the total frequency multiplied by the midpoint by the total frequency. This gives an answer of 171.7. The answer asks us to estimate the mean. Therefore, the final mark is awarded for rounding the mean, 171.7, to the nearest whole number, which is 172. Let's recap what you've learned in this video. You should now be able to recognize what is meant by discrete data, calculate the mean, Interpret grouped frequency tables. Estimate the mean of grouped frequency tables. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.